always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Nice night across West Michigan tonight. That includes here in Kalamazoo, where we have partly cloudy skies. It is cooling off, but it is still warm for this time of year. Here's a look at ours over Rosa Park Circle. Unfortunately, the skating rink has been closed due to warm weather. At least it appears that way it was tonight. But as we head into next week, conditions will be much more conducive for not only skating, but also uh, ski resorts producing snow uh, with chilly overnight lows. We're at 39 now in Grand Rapids and in Holland, 38 in South Haven, still at 46 in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, 48 in Sturgis and Coldwater. Several communities in West Michigan tied or broke the record for today's date. Kalamazoo broke the record by seven degrees, Battle Creek by five, Muskegon and Grand Rapids tied the record, Holland came in shy. We're tracking a lower chances for precipitation this weekend. It looks like that system is going to miss us to the south. We are going to turn cooler, but we're still going to be warmer than average as the mild February continues. And we do have the chance for some flurries by the end of next week. Going to be feeling a bit more like winter. Still no major systems in sight. Here's a look at Storm Track Live. We have that low that is moving off to the northeast. Some scattered rain showers trying to develop down toward the state line. With a few rumbles of thunder earlier this evening, now it's just a few sprinkles and most communities are going to remain dry tonight. Future cast shows winds turning more northwesterly into the day tomorrow. We'll be partly to mostly cloudy. I do still think we could get some intervals of sunshine if we're lucky. Uh, that will continue for us into the afternoon. We then see similar conditions for Sunday, partly to mostly cloudy, uh, with mostly sunny conditions likely on the way for Monday. As we look at precipitation chances, no major storm systems in sight. Again, slight chance of showers to the south into tomorrow morning. Uh, we do have a small chance of a few flurries on Tuesday and then uh, perhaps a better chance for some scattered snow showers mixing in with rain at times toward the tail end of next week. Winds out of the west 5 to 10 miles per hour will continue to see gusts approaching 20 to 25 miles per hour, especially during the day tomorrow. So it's not going to be quite as windy as it was yesterday or today. Still going to be on the breezy side, though. Again, with those winds having that northwesterly component in the wake of the cold front. Here's your eight-day forecast. Features temperatures uh, cooling off, but still above average. Your average high in the low 30s, so we're close to 40 this weekend. We've been so spoiled that it almost seems chilly. Mostly sunny on Monday. Eventually, we do cool off in the low 30s toward the tail end of next week with a few chances for snow. But in the meantime, a pretty nice weekend ahead if you've been procrastinating getting yeah. some stuff done outside. You got another chance. Get out and enjoy early spring. That's right. Yeah. Blake, thanks.